series of maintenance video for Shockman. Torque wrenches, slide hammer puller, two self-made needles, screw sealant, oil drain plug. Unscrew the oil drain plug at the bottom of the gearbox. Drain the lubricating oil in the gearbox. Disassemble the high and low gear gas pipeline joints of the auxiliary box. Disassemble the pressure reducing valve. Note, before dismantling the auxiliary box, the high and low gear self-locking assembly of the auxiliary box must be removed. Remove the nut of the auxiliary box high and low gear self-locking assembly. Take out the high and low gear self-locking spring. Remove the copper gasket. Take out the self-locking pin. To prevent dust or debris from entering the main box, the nut should be returned. Position of auxiliary box fixing bolt. Loosen the auxiliary box bolts. Hang the spreader hook into the auxiliary box hoisting ring. Hoisting auxiliary box. Remove the auxiliary box bolts. Use a crowbar to pry the part of the locating pin connected to the main and auxiliary box and shake the auxiliary box to pull it out. Note. When disassembling the auxiliary box, do not pry the joint surface of the auxiliary box and the middle shell to prevent damage to the joint surface and the gasket. Remove the auxiliary box and place it in a suitable position to facilitate subsequent disassembly work. Note, the shifter shaft of the auxiliary box cannot be in contact with the ground. Remove the ground plate bolts. Position of drawing hole. Screw the screw head of the slide hammer into the hole. Pull out the ground plate. Remove the grounding plate and the low gear synchronous conjunction gear. Put the ground plate assembly on the workbench to disassemble and inspect. The ground plate. The low gear synchronous conjunction gear. Tapping the needle roller bearing in the low gear synchronous conjunction gear with a chisel to make it fall off. Remove the cylinder head bolts with a wrench or socket. Remove the cylinder head. Note, do not Damage the gasket. Remove the piston nut with a wrench or socket. Remove the piston. Turn over the auxiliary box and gently take out the synchronizer and shifter shaft assembly to prevent the spring assembly from flying off. Use a flat blade screwdriver to gently pry off the glued synchronizer ring. 
ring joint sleeve, high gear synchronous conjunction gear, limit spring, flow throttling ring, limit spring. Remove the limit spring of the flow throttling ring. Remove the flow throttling ring. Remove the high gear synchronous conjunction gear limit spring. Remove the high gear synchronous conjunction gear. Use two self-made pick needles to remove the limit circlip of the ring joint sleeve. Remove the ring joint sleeve. Synchronizer sub assembly. Pay attention to protection when disassembling the synchronizer to prevent the spring assembly from flying off. Synchronizer ring, sliding sleeve, low gear synchronous conjunction gear, high gear synchronous conjunction gear, spring assembly. Use a grounding plate to fix the low gear synchronous conjunction gear to help install the synchronizer. Install the three synchronizer spring assemblies into the synchronizer ring. The other synchronizer ring and the spring assemblies are buckled upside down on the previous synchronizer ring. Put the synchronizer sliding sleeve into the synchronizer ring. Turn it clockwise after adjustment and install it. Combined synchronizer assembly. Use two flat blade screwdrivers to support the ring gear for easy installation of the large clamp ring. Put the ring joint sleeve into the high gear ring gear. Make sure to align the mark at the notch of the large clamp ring to facilitate the next disassembly. Install the large clamp ring and make sure it is in place. Install high gear synchronous conjunction gear to mesh with planet carrier spline. Fix it with a circlip for the shaft. It must be assembled in place during assembly. Install the auxiliary box flow throttling ring Install it on the spine tooth of the circlip for the shaft. Note, the oil hole is upward. Fix it with a circlip for the shaft. It must be assembled in place during assembly. Install the sliding sleeve guide block into the shift fork of the auxiliary box. After combining the shift fork with the synchronizer, install it into the hole of the shift cylinder of the auxiliary box. Then, install the auxiliary box synchronizer assembly into the ring joint sleeve. Need to hang the synchronizer into the high gear zone. Turn over the auxiliary box assembly. When turning over, you need to hold the synchronizer and shift fork assembly to prevent the synchronizer from slipping off. 
Install the aluminum alloy piston and apply grease around the O-ring. When assembling the piston, the part number is upward. Apply screw sealant to install the lock nut. Tighten the nut with a torque wrench. Tightening torque 110 Nm. Apply lubricating grease to install the cylinder gasket of the auxiliary box. Install the auxiliary box cylinder in place. Connect with four bolts. Tighten the nut diagonally with a torque wrench. Tightening torque 22 Nm. Install the needle roller bearing into the low gear synchronous conjunction gear. Grounding plate and low gear synchronous conjunction gear are installed in the plane of the middle shell box. Connect the ground plate with bolts and tighten the bolts. Tightening torque 45 Nm. Note, before installing the gasket, check carefully whether there are burrs on the joint surface of the middle shell and the auxiliary box. If there are burrs, you need to use a file sandpaper to polish. Apply lubricating grease. Install the sealing gasket for connecting middle shell box and auxiliary box. Note, when assembling the auxiliary box, the synchronizer must be hung in the high gear zone. The synchronizer ring tooth and the sliding sleeve are basically kept on the same plane. Hoisting auxiliary box subassembly is connected to the middle shell. The rotating flange makes the sun gear fully mesh with the two shaft. Connect the auxiliary box and the middle shell with bolts. Install the bolts diagonally. Tighten the connecting bolts of the auxiliary box assembly. Tightening torque 45 Nm. Take off the self-locking nut. Install the self-locking nut in the middle shell. Installing the self-locking spring. Install the self-locking pin plug and copper gasket. Tighten with a torque wrench. Tightening torque 50 Nm. Install pressure reducing valve. Connect airline. line. 
Install the oil plug and tighten. Replacement of the auxiliary box synchronizer assembly is complete.